Okay, the story for this question is not that complicated, and this allows us to talk about something that is absolutely going to come up in lots of places in the SAT. It is the idea of a rate. We see rates all the time in math, and when we see them, it usually means that we are going to use multiplication. Okay, so just to kind of focus in on some things here, J walks at a speed of three miles per hour. That's a rate. There's a lot of keywords there. First of all, speed, right? That's a rate. And then the way the units work, miles per hour, right? If we have two units involved, then that means we're kind of like talking about it as a rate, as, as a comparison. And so that tells us that when we know the number of um, hours that J walks, we are going to multiply that by three, right? So we're looking for something like 3W in our answer choice. Now that's because uh, that's just how a lot of rates work in math is we use multiplication. If we didn't have um, uh, like a story, we would still think of this as multiplication. Maybe we would use the word like slope if we were talking about a, of just kind of a regular line. But this is a way of this. This is an important concept in math that you need to be comfortable recognizing in a story and then turning it into an equation. And so if we did the same thing for the other rate, miles per hour is the running speed, so that's R hours, right? So there we have 5R, so that actually doesn't really matter because that's in both the choices that we're still considering. And then the real thing is, okay, does that add to 14 or to 112? Well, this is an easy question. It's near the beginning of the first section. We know it's going to be pretty easy. The answer is A here because that's the total my, uh, uh, miles that he walked. So that's again just a normal kind of thing in math if we have a total we're probably going to use addition and I don't know where this 112 comes from I guess maybe yeah 14 times something gets you 112 or I don't know but it doesn't matter the point is if I can't figure it out or you can't figure it out on question number three it's probably not part of the question at all so it's a trap of some kind um, the questions on the SAT are generally orga organized from easy to hard. So those first few questions, it's okay if they feel very, very easy. It doesn't mean you're falling for a trap. You just need to know some basic facts, in this case, about rates and multiplication. And it's pretty easy to come up with the equation.